you've been a hardcore Trump from the beginning. Talk I to us have. about the speech. He was amazing. He absolutely was amazing. I cried more in that speech than any speech he's ever given, but any State of the Union. And he pulled on heartstrings. He told real stories that affect people. And that makes a difference. Um, it was emotional. It was, you know, it was something that I think America needed to hear. And I'm glad that he stayed positive, but I'm mad as hell about. Before you get to the mad, what was <laughs> emotionally, what was the, the most, uh, the most emotional part of the speech for you? You know, I don't know that I could choose one part, but when that soldier came in who had been away, you know, from his family, that, oh my gosh, it gives me chills just to talk about it now. I can't imagine, you know, and to do that, to have the thought to do that, the thoughtfulness, it's about the American people, you know, and to have the thoughtfulness to do that. We hear him talk about our soldiers, our men and women in uniform across the, this world, it, but he truly cares about them. And that, when that happened last night, it showed his compassion, his thoughtfulness, and that he is a genuine person that really cares. And the American people needed to see that. One of the reasons I love you and you've been a stalwart of this movement is the fact that you're a fire breather. You were, oh. came in tonight, where, you came in last night we talked, and then this morning, you're worked up about the response of Nancy Pelosi. Why? I mean, I'm on the warpath about it. Not only was what she did disrespectful to the president himself, but put aside her personal feelings for him, right? It's disrespected the office of the presidency. It disrespected her office as Speaker of the House. She represents the people in her district, but as Speaker of the House, she represents a chamber that represents all Americans. That is our house. And she not only disrespected all of us, all Americans, by doing that, but the war heroes that have lost their lives, that have given their American blood, she took that speech and tore it up. You do not want Amy Kramer in your grill every day. I'm telling you, it's not a pleasant sight. I've seen this in 2010. The reason we had this revolution, the Tea Party revolution, was because of Amy Kramer.